Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros, and today we're bringing you a 1080p gaming PC that is only $450. And it's using some parts you might have not seen in a long time, featuring an RX 580 that you can actually buy new from AliExpress right now for about 60 bucks. We're gonna talk about that, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code and it is fully legit, it will work out of the box and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on check. Outs. One thing that's really cool about this build is the fact that we will be able to play esports and AAA titles at 1080p. And the other cool thing is it is technically all new parts, so nothing in this build is used or risky. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about each individual part, how it makes up this build, and dive into some awesome benchmarks to show you what it is capable of in 2022 going into 2023. So first up for the CPU, we have the Ryzen 5 5500, which is a six core 12 thread that does not have Gen 4 support out of the box, but there is some other options out there. If you can't find this one for the $95 price point, check out the i3 10100F for the 10105 or even the i5 10400. There's definitely a lot of options. You'll have to change the motherboard, but of course you're just going from a B550 to a B560, so pretty simple. Now speaking of simple motherboards, we have the Gigabyte B550M DS3H. This is about as simple as it gets when it comes to the B550 lineup, but it's a really good board. We really like them. They do have upgrade pass. You could go up to a Ryzen 7 with this if you wanted to, and it will support it just fine. We end up going with 16 gigs of OLED DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Pretty good stuff. It's not RGB. You could spend like 10 extra bucks, get some RGB if you want to. Now for the SSD, we have the MP33 from Team Group. It's a 512 gig, but you can also get it in one terabyte and even larger. It's a Gen 3 drive because, we, like I said, we don't have Gen 4 support technically, so you don't want to pay for a Gen 4 drive when you can't use the speeds. Now for the graphics card. This is a bit of a weird one. This is the Jaisu, Jaisu uh, RX 580. I believe this model is an eight gig, but big disclaimer, we did a benchmark video on this. This has 2048 stream processors, which is a step down from like the 2300 stream processors found in the normal RX 580. This is basically a 578 gig, but it's branded as a 588 gig, but they do add that stream processor thing right there. So you know what, I guess they're technically not wrong, but regardless, it is a lower end card. It will play 1080p esports titles, no problem problem and some AAA on lower settings. Uh, but yeah, it's 60 freaking dollars from AliExpress and it has, well, a new cooler and everything. And it's supposed to be new. Um, how new is it really? I don't really know. They might be taking the dies from older cards and repurposing them. But regardless, it comes from AliExpress, 60 bucks, and I'm excited to see how it performs. And in terms of power for the system, we have the EVGA 610 BP. Um, this is a solid unit, very solid power supply, 610 watts. You really don't need much more than this. Um, you have room for upgrades in the future. You can go to something like an RX 6600 or 6600 XT or 6650 XT uh, with this 5500. And you'll be in a really good spot in terms of your performance with that Ryzen 5 5500. Now this case right here, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what the name is, but it's on Amazon. It's being promoted pretty heavily right now. And there will be a link in the description down below, but it comes with one, two, three, four RGB fans. If I had to guess, it's probably just some proprietary RGB or static RGB that doesn't really change. You know, we're gonna look on the fly here. We're gonna pull this right look off this Molex and see. Daisy. A Molex Daisy, ah, oh, look at that, the Molex Daisy chain. So this is just probably gonna either be very static um, because I don't think this reset switch is gonna be controllable, so. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just gonna be like the static RGB, which is fine. The case is like $59, I believe, which is pretty good for a micro ATX build. And for a $450 PC, I don't think you really complain too much. It still looks pretty nice. So let's go and put this thing together and see how she performs.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off with some Overwatch 2, and we're on the ultra settings, 1080p, and I think we're, I think we're gonna kill it. But don't worry, guys, we're playing competitive for the most accurate of gameplay, don't worry, you better die. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, to your left. Uh, we killed get someone, it. we get killed it. someone. Finally, you got the point, look at you. Who is the rattiest of them all? Uh -huh. Die. Die, die, die. Oh, he just oh. ate my bomb. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh! Team, Team diff. diff. Who said that? <laughs> oh, how are you going to say that and then leave? Wow. Well, that was Overwatch, guys. We just played some competitive at max settings over 100 FPS most of the time, so that's pretty good. Let's try another game. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone, and uh, these are the settings we are running with. Uh, we're on the basic preset, um, you know, trying to get as much performance as we can out of this thing. Why do I look like that? <laughs> I do not remember changing to this, dude. I thought dude, it was you're Steve Carell. you're a heavy Carell. duty guy now. I I'm heavy duty now. Wait, no, hold up. Wait, 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 what just happened? Anyways, uh, we're in Warzone, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get 60 FPS. For a $450 PC, if you're getting at least 60 FPS in Warzone, I don't think you can really complain too much, because uh, for the most optimal experience, you're probably gonna wanna spend a good amount more than that. I'm gonna share my own feet. Oh, no, I am not. Come here! Yeah. Get the other guy. Oh! oh. <laughs> I knew he was in there, but I dove right into him. He's like, oh, what I'm just gonna let this. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably just like, what the heck? He's like, oh, nice, free kill. Hey, we're gonna go log. That's my teammate. He's gonna give you some call outs today, dude. That's my teammate. <laughs> okay, oh, one. Yeah. Oh, that's my teammate! Wow, that's your teammate. That's He's my crazy. Keep falling, climb. Oh, 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 stronghold! Oh, dude, they cracked you like they're real players. Oh. That was a real player. It's like the stronghold is bait. He's just like, oh, wow, look, oh, look at him in that EV. I'm just gonna blast him real quick. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's Warzone. It's playable. 60 plus FPS. Now, of course, what we got to do is really stress this thing. We're going to run a couple of other games that you might want to play on this PC and then wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our $450 gaming PC, and this thing did freaking awesome in every game we threw at it. Yeah, well, I was really impressed with how the RX 580 performed, even though it's not a true RX 580. Uh, with optimized settings and being paired with a good CPU like the Ryzen 5 5500, you can play anything you throw at it, 1080p, 60 plus FPS. Now, if you want to build this PC, definitely check those links down below. They will be affiliate links, and they will help us out. You can buy the graphics card from AliExpress, or if you want to pay a premium, when we did our benchmark video, you actually buy the exact same card from Amazon, but it will be another like 30 or $40. So if you want that instant gratification from Amazon, you can definitely use the link down below. Or if you want to wait a little bit from AliExpress, or if you're in another country, you can save a good amount of money shopping on there. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
Now, if you don't want to build this PC yourself and you want to just buy one, we will be selling this at PC Bros. And we also have $100 to choose from. PC Bros. Uh, tech, we sell awesome gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and a bunch of other fun stuff. And if you use code SANTA5, which this video will be live in December, so hurry up though, it's the end of December, you can save 5% on your next purchase. And uh, yeah, you get a one-year warranty as well, so you don't have to worry about anything going wrong. Mm -hmm. PC Bros. Tech, see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.